Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, Chad here. First of all, I'd like to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I always greatly appreciate each and every one of you tuning into the channel. Uh, I wanted to also start off by saying uh, sorry because it's been, I think, roughly eight months since I've posted a video. This video more or less is going to be what I've been up to and future plans for the channel. So let's start off with the big elephant in the room and that is the CCIE. I think my last video uh, roughly eight months ago was related to CCIE and DevNet Associate. I still plan on doing both, so I actually will be doing the DevNet Associate exam still. Uh, I plan on taking that uh, in a few weeks, actually, um, and we'll get into that in more detail in just a moment. As far as the CCIE is concerned, uh, we will actually be doing that as well still, um, but I did want to tackle the DevNet Associate and then maybe another uh, CCMP exam first and then dive full into CCIE. Kind of been on the the, the turmoil back and forth of what I want to do after DevNet Associate, but I am still working towards CCIE. Um, I did have a study partner that uh, unfortunately things got in the way and he decided no longer to progress towards the CCIE. Um, and so that kind of gives me more of a time to uh, focus on intermediate certs or lower level certs. And then I can dive headfirst into CCIE material here, hopefully within the year. That's the plan as of now. So uh, as far as DevNet Associates concerned, I will be taking that exam coming up here soon. I actually have the exam set to uh, be during Cisco Live. So uh, at Cisco Live, I will be taking the DevNet Associate exam. This will be the first time I've ever attended Cisco Live. So that's going to be great. Hopefully pass the DevNet Associate, uh, but also get to go to Cisco Live. So if you're going to be there and you'd like to uh, meet up somewhere, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I plan on recording that experience as well as I am permitted to. Uh, for those that are not aware, I am part of the Cisco Champion program. So I do plan on trying to record some content while I'm at Cisco Live of things that's going on. Uh, hopefully some really cool breakout sessions I plan on attending and things like that as I'm permitted. So be on the lookout for that. And again, if you are going to Cisco live and you'd like to reach out to me, um, uh, please feel free to do so and uh, we can meet up. So that would be pretty cool. Now, as the year goes on, I do plan on posting some more uh, networking style educational videos. I actually have one that I plan on recording, uh, probably that will be recorded by the time you guys are seeing this, it will actually have been recorded and edited and hopefully ready to go. Um, but it is going to be based on uh, some really cool things. So let's talk a little bit more about the DevNet Associate exam. Uh, that exam has been a long time in the making for me. I actually started studying for the exam uh, mid early last year, um, but things got in the way and I just really wasn't taking it serious. So I kind of hit the brakes and kind of relaxed for a little bit. Then I started a new job. And once I started the new job, I was like, well, now I really want to do the DevNet stuff. I was working, I'm working currently with a lot of automation things. So I was like, this will further help me uh, progress my automation knowledge. So why not? So I've been studying for it. Uh, pretty consistently now for the past three months. Uh, and again, we'll plan on taking it at Cisco Live. So far, uh, I'm using a similar approach to all of my other exams. If you've seen any of my videos, you know, I usually go through video series. In this case, I've been using Nick Russo's Plural Site, and then I work my way through the OCG, and then I kind of rinse and repeat back and forth between videos, books, uh, practice exams, flashcards, things like that. Uh, so that is still the plan, um, and I, I plan on taking that here uh, at Cisco Live. So that will be awesome. I will do a follow-up video after Cisco Live, uh, not only with the Cisco Live content, but I will also post uh, a review of the exam and then kind of dig deeper into how the exam went. After that, then we'll start focusing on probably CCIE level topics, and then I will be posting videos uh, kind of routinely. As of now, I'm planning on probably doing uh, roughly uh, once a month, a review of how things are progressing with my CCIE videos, uh, or excuse me, my CCIE uh, journey, and we'll post those in video form uh, for you guys to look at and kind of get a feel for how things are going. All in all, though, guys, again, thank you so much for being part of this journey uh, to CCIE, journey to DevNet, and just my life's journey in networking and my professional career. Um, I've definitely come a long way, and I'm very thankful to each and every one of you who has decided to reach out to me on social media or any of the platforms that I'm on to say hello or ask questions. Guys, 
please feel free to continue doing so. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.